Alrighty, it's uh, April 6th and it's time for Comments X. Well, uh, many people will be doing uh, Good Friday. Uh, I'm still kind of confused about my days of it. Before, the, the comments, I'll be doing the comments and the before the day prior. Now, the comments are for the day coming. Because it's, it's right now, it's like about, um, it's just about 4 o'clock in the morning. So most people will get this uh, uh, during the day, sometime after nine. Uh, you'll be watching this. And where before, if I did it in the evening, if I did it around let's say eight nine o'clock, you wouldn't be getting it till the next day. So this is where the confusion comes in. You, 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 and particularly if you've done a twenty-four, hour, if you've got if you've gone for sleep without forty for forty-eight hours. Uh, sleep deprivation starts to set in and I've been doing this on a weekly basis I've been doing this sort of all-nighter uh, thing for about three to four weeks in a row where one night every week uh, basically instead of having a seven-day week I have a six-day week because on the weekend uh, Saturday and Sunday morph into one day and I've been doing this for now for four weeks straight, and uh, it kind of, kind of, it kind of messes with you a little bit. But uh, uh, I think is the more you get used to it, the uh, you can sort of adjust the things. And that, I, I even, even kind of, you, you kind of mess, mess things up. Like uh, I, I, I was watching one of Cassandra's uh, videos this week, and this is from Nerds RL. And she was with, uh, I think it was her her sister's birthday, whose name was Anna. But I heard the word, I heard her say Hannah. And I guess in my sleep, I, 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 so I wished the person a happy birthday. And I said, they said thank you, and, but it wasn't Hannah, it was Anna. So, you know, that, but that's sort of where sleep deprivation leaves you. And it, and it does make it difficult to sort of think of, uh, what to say on here, even though, uh, <laughs> even when you're wide awake, sometimes uh, I see that uh, some of the younger vloggers out there who are just starting off uh, with YouTube, uh, some of my younger friends out there that have sort of go, I've walked by and sort of uh, seen their videos, they're having a hard time either ending it or saying, knowing what to say while, while they're talking uh, and not sound, I don't know, boring. And the thing is, you, uh, boring is a relative term. It you know you you you, you can't always be jumping around and yelling and screaming, and just hanging out and talking is pretty cool too. So if you know, and as I say, if you know if you if you're hanging out and talking with me and like hanging out and talking with me, there's no reason why uh, you couldn't post a comment video here, and we can sort of have a comment. We can have a conversation via the video chat back and forth like this it's sort of like uh, a leisurely chat it's not immediate so I'll say something and then you respond in the video below uh, and then I'll respond a little later on for that and then, yeah it's just a hello <laughs> you know hi I saw by to say hi just passing through that's what I do in terms of, in terms of some of my typing where if I'm just sort of passing by a channel and I just stop by for a bit to see what's going on. Sometimes there's nothing. They haven't done any video. Uh, but if they've done a video, I'll say hello. And, or sometimes even they haven't done a video, I'll stop by and say hi anyways. You know, that's, as I, I view, I view uh, my existence on YouTube to be a somewhat of a cross between a virtual and a real existence where uh, I'm sort of, uh, I call my uh, moving around YouTube. It's, it, it's not as exciting and adventurous as surfing. So I'm not actually surfing. It's more of a, it's more of a leisurely stroll. So you, know, you go out. Imagine yourself going out for a walk. The place you're going to, you're going around walking to, uh, and the Greeks call it the volta. To go for a volta. To the, the volta is a nice leisurely. It's a stroll. It's not a brisk walk. You're going. You're not. You know. It's not. It's not necessarily for exercise. It's just that you're going out to walk, and along the way you stop and talk to people, and you chat, and you have a bit of coffee, and you sit. You know. It, it's it's not, it's nothing serious. It's 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 very laid back and leisurely, and that's kind of uh, what I do here on on this YouTube channel. 
is a very leisurely stroll, walk around, uh, uh, saying hello, and and I, I have a variety of different interests. Uh, uh, it's not just one thing interests me. It just uh, but uh, my research is now sort of moving off to its own channel, so I don't have to do the research here as much as I did before, because uh, right now things are moving off there into the other channels, and this sort of leaves this area blank. So I have. Uh, I have to find things now to talk about because the research is moving off. But I do have other in interests, and this is sort of like uh, uh, I had been doing the same type of uh, clicking around, like called virtual traveling or virtual presence. Uh, I had uh, done that in Japan. Uh, what I mean in Japan, I, mean, I didn't physically go to Japan, but uh, I started surfing the websites in Japanese in, in, from Japan. And I made friends over there, you know, clicking friends, internet friends uh, that we met. But you know, didn't necessarily know who we were physically, but uh, w we sort of knew each other online. Uh, got out of that for a bit, and so that was sort of that was a dry period there. So I, I now have uh, friends um, here now that I go around and I sort of people that I go around and say hello to and uh, stuff like that. It's not, again, it's not the type of friendship where you're over the house every single day. I think maybe we call it for a very, it's friendly in nature, but it's more of an acquaintance. acquaintance. Uh, somebody who uh, you go by and see and you, you'll behave neighborly to them, but you're not there uh, moving in. You're not there in terms of, you're not their BFF. You're there sort of hanging out and saying hello. And some of this, uh, for me, because I don't have any particular group that I hang out with, and uh, in terms of when things get older, and I've, I've seen this from some of my some of the some of the friends that I've talked to on YouTube here, some of the YouTubers that I know, have sort of felt it a necessity to come out and say what their sexual orientation was. It, it, that, that doesn't bother me. Whatever you, it, that's your own personal choices there. And my thing is, is that, and this is true whether it's for a boy or a girl. Uh, I'm not a sexual person. I don't care about se sexuality. And so even though you know everyone loves Shane Dawson, I find this stuff just you know, yeah, yeah, you're old enough. You're 19 now. You're you're old enough. You can use uh, these words. Fine, funny, but it's not funny to me. And it's not. It's also not entertaining. I find the uh, the ones I find entertaining, I f the ones I like, are these uh, girls with these really quirky uh, attitudes and, and personalities. They're they're weird. Uh, but I like the weird. I like weird. Uh, and I don't care. You know, I don't care. I actually like some of the purple hair. I like some of the the. the uh, it's called a, they call it an emo here, but it's actually a a, 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 a Japanese Lolita a, a Harajuku style. I like that uh, Kawaii Harajuku style, even if it's got a goth tint to it. Uh, so I like that. That's, that. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I like uh, uh, in terms of uh, being a geek and everything like that. I'm supposed to like and have uh, action figures like. Uh, Luke Skywalker from Star Wars and all these other things here, but that's not my particular thing. I, I like uh, I like the girl the dolls like uh, Moxie girls. I think Monster High is pretty interesting. So when I see videos of girls sort of describing this stuff, I see that you know, that's kind of interesting for me. But then again, I'm also uh, still watching uh, uh, as I'm doing my work. I'm watching Lizzie McGuire, uh, Zoe 101. Uh, they're still on, uh, and I have them in my in my video library anyway. So even if they're not on, I can always, you know, go into my video library and and, and uh, watch it. But I watch uh, what is it? Uh, I Carly's uh, Victorious, uh, SpongeBob SquarePants, Fairly Odd Parents, all, all the what they consider to be the kid shows. And the argument is is that oh, aren't you mature enough to start watching some of the old, old the the more we'll call so-called mature shows? But most of the mature shows that I've seen, and I've seen a large chunk of them, I keep going back and sort of people say, oh, you've got to try this one. But most of the shows that I've seen that people say, I recommend, oh, this is a better show, it's much more mature, really doesn't have 
anything in it that I would consider to be more mature in terms of what I understand and know about physics and what I know about science. And, and this includes behavior science and, you know, behavior analysis, if we were talking about the show Criminal Minds. But there are a lot of flaws in the show Criminal Minds in terms of how the behavior science is done. And I could point out the real flaws in there. And I'm the type of person that, you know, if someone says to me, oh, and we get into a discussion, and this is where the discussion usually ends, and my kind of hanging out with these people kind of ends as well, because uh, they'll sit and talk about the maturity of the show, and I'll go, well, that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong. And by the time we get to the end of it, it's like, Daniel, I don't think we're going to be watching TV together anymore. <laughs> and that's usually how it goes. And the best, the best time I have watching TV is when I'm watching uh, TV with with little kids. That's the best time I have watching TV. Uh, the, the thing is, when you're hanging out with uh, particularly the under fourteen crowd, it's not about status. There's no, there's no issue on status. And as long as you're a nice person and it's about, you know, just you're not being an idiot or a moron or using, you know, trying to show how how, in, how how mature you are, you know, bringing a lot of these adult references that a lot of, that a lot of the older kids are using. Uh, this is the over 14 crowd who feel the necessity to show how much more mature they are and introduce the new languages that they under, the new language they understand and the new words that they have in their vocabulary. Uh, as long as you leave that behind and not really care about that, then uh, the hanging out with the younger crowd is not an issue uh, in terms of what you want to go and see and stuff like that. And it can be kind of interesting. And as you, you, you kind of, it's, it, it, for sometimes you're stepping outside your comfort box, sometimes it isn't. Uh, anyways, um, I will be seeing you more on YouTube uh, in terms of uh, the Big Bang Theater L. I will see you uh, on my other channels that I've got around. Uh, <laughs> Uh, more channels are coming up. Uh, more shows are coming up. Right now, we're in a lull because one whole chunk of stuff has moved off. And this way, I almost forgot about this. The and I do forget about things. Uh, not necessarily the Bass Institute channel. I was supposed to have a show up, the, a segment of the Adventures in the Library up on Wednesday, but that didn't work out because uh, there is a problem. A, a, a glitch got into. Uh, YouTube's uh, video editor and uh, what I was expecting the edit never ended up showing up so uh, I'm gonna try again on Friday uh, and put together the segment so wait basically Wednesday segment is gonna be Friday and then it'll be again Friday Wednesday and Thursday Friday Wednesday and Thursday uh, no, Monday Wednesdays and Fridays will be the um, will be the uh, postings uh, for the adventures in the library I w will be uh, 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 sort of attaching to my Goodreads uh, profile the Bass Institute channel in addition to the Cy uh, to the Cyborg Alpha V1 channel uh, where uh, Big Bang Theory RL is. Big Bang, Theory RL, Big, Big, Big Bang Theory RL is the main show that's behind the scenes and then everything else kind of uh, grows up from there. Anyways, uh, that's not for the Bass Institute. I've covered everything else that I need to sort of, or that I can remember at this particular point in time. And so I will see you, particularly for people who are doing VEDA, I will see you tomorrow. Um, no, I'll probably see you around the end, and I'll stroll around. I'm going to start my clicking now. All right. Free speech rules here at Democratic Earth.